Hi everybody, Alex Hill from Midlife Manifesto. So it's uh, Tuesday, February 10th, and I thought I'd share another video post, kind of give a little bit more of an opinion from Alex. I know it's very interesting and very newsworthy, um, and so that's why I feel that it's my duty to share it with the world. So yesterday, one of the big news stories was Alex Rodriguez admitting to steroid use um, on TV with ESPN. So I started thinking about it, and I was wondering, now. Alex Rodriguez admitting to steroid use. What's the, you know, how does this affect the uh, somebody else and the rest of the world besides not being the role model that many people held him up to be and expecting him to break uh, the home run record, which has been tainted by uh, Barry Bonds? <coughs> I think it's pretty obvious who Alex's number one fan is now. It's a uh, drum roll, please. It's none other than a bong boy himself, Michael Phelps. I mean, think about it. Before A-Rod came out and said it, Michael Phelps was, the last couple of days, kind of the big news story within the cycle, even though it wasn't that much of a story. I mean, the dude smoked a bong. Yeah, that's poor judgment, but, I mean, compared to the DWI he got a couple of years ago, whatever. Uh, so, yeah, so, that's, uh, so I'm pretty sure that Michael Phelps is going to send Alex Rodriguez a uh, box of flowers, maybe some candy and whatnot. Uh, you know, but in thinking about it, as a parent, you always, I, I think that you have to think about uh, life and, and try and find teaching points in a lot of things. And so although my children are generally too young to think about it right now, um, one of the things I thought about is at least they're admitting to it. Both Michael Phelps and Alex Rodriguez, while they, you know, their behavior is less than perfect and some, some of it's worse than the rest of it, um, they're, they're standing up and they're admitting to their steroid use or their the bong the bong picture in michael's case um as opposed to uh other celebrities who just deny it flat out roger clemens N nobody believes he didn't use steroids barry bonds he's like the the national spokesman for steroid users um you know those are just two examples i mean i think it's something that we see frequently in society with um with celebrities who just when they've been caught red-handed they just deny stuff so I don't know. So some good, some so some good is coming out of it. Good behavior, good role model. Teach your kids that. Say, look, these cats, they screwed up. What they did was really wrong, but they're admitting to it, which is a good thing, and they're being stand up about it. So there you go. That's what I think. Tell me what you think. Uh, I had a couple comments yesterday from Mrs. H, who I think I know who you are. Uh, but for the rest of y'all out there, tell me what you think. Uh, post a little comment down below. Someone else may have a comment about your comment. We'll see. Thanks a lot. Have a good day. Hi, everybody. Alex Hill here from Midlife Manifesto. It's August, not August. Hi everybody, Alex Hill from Midlife Manifesto. Well, it's another day, that means another video post where I get to share with you, uh, my loyal readers or watchers, uh, my opinion. And it sounds like someone, it looks like my wife is now instant messaging me while I'm trying to do a video. Don't you know I'm doing something? She says the lentil soup was awesome. I'm going to stop and retake this.